Hey, guess what I have in my possession? I hear this exam, um, cause some problem, boy. Cause some problem, just IT. No, I haven't looked at the papers yet. Eh? I just like, I just got uh, an email, an anonymous email, and I opened it, and I realized that the paper was sideways. So then I have to go and rotate it because it was pure black magic. I mean, pure black market, black market stuff, like fully, fully black market. -ish. Anytime we get the paper on it sideways, that is a that's a sign that the black market was working over time. Find it take long. I still don't get the comps unit two, but anyhow. IT unit one. I heard some stories. I heard some stories, so I'm going to see the paper just as you would have seen it. I didn't get to preview this in advance or anything of the sort. Let's see what what good old TX did today. Let's read the black market. Let's read the black marketness of it. Alright, so let's start off. It's um it's scanned. And pretty clearly, all right, yeah, not, not too blurry. It's scanned on legal paper though, so it have a legal paper, it have a little space on top and a little space below on all the pages. There's a slight lean to the right, there's a slight lean to the right, and um, yeah, there's definitely a lean. But all the pages seem to be there, page 7, page 8, page 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, right, yeah, 14, 15. Last time I got a black market paper, I didn't have all the pages, huh? 15. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, a blank page, okay. Alright, so I will give it, um, what will give this? I'll give this one, uh, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It will lose points because it was, it's on legal paper and for the slant. And it's slightly blurry, but in terms of black market quality, it's a solid 7 out of 10, solid 7 out of 10. What do you think? Sorry to interrupt your video, but this is future me talking to you while you're watching this. And if you are struggling with certain, a certain part of your eye or you just need some way to check over your eye, we do personal one-on-one -on -one eye classes. So if you want your eye to get a check over, just to make sure you have all the requirements on your marks, make it simple to feel that forward slash register. Okay, cool. Back to the video. All right, so let's go. Starting with um number one. I heard module one was cake. Let's see how much cake it really was. Number one, right. Ye do we? Ye do I? Ye do you die? You die is you die? You die is prepared here. Yeah. You die. It's prepared for end of quarter sales presentation to explain the performance of for the period. He must present a spreadsheet which contains all the salespersons' data, including tables, charts, and PowerPoint really. He must also provide a recording of the previous meeting for discussion. In order to save his work, he has given the two devices shown below. All right, clearly this is a CD, compact disc, and this is a floppy. My problem is one time, um, floppy is not on, I don't know if floppy is still on the syllabus, but okay, at least you know. Which device is first in historical timeline information technology device two, because a floppy came before a CD. Just so you know, just in case you want to show, did what advice to a suitable for your guys' job? Give two reasons for your answer. No, it is not. Why is my dog barking so much? No, it is not. Why is it not? And they say give two reasons. One, the space is too small. 1.44 megabytes is not enough. It's not enough to do what by you. What's the problem? What are you trying to do? To save large spreadsheets, yeah. No, and oh, to so save multiple a spreadsheet and a PowerPoint. I over answering this because, well, it's easy. Two, um, why it's not because you may not find a device that is able to use to that has a floppy disk drive. Yeah, yeah. Um, it may be obsolete obsolete as there are no devices as there may not be any modern devices with floppy drives f-l-o-p-p-y all right so we take that it's three marks so one mark for saying no next mark is for your explanation of it's too small next mark is the explanation for um nobody has a floppy drive yeah we'll take that right so let's go next Recommend two other devices that would be suitable for the task. You might want to say a USB thumb drive, or you could say a SD card, or you could say a micro SD card, or you could say external hard drive. Um, yeah, that, that, those, those should be good enough. 
Those are usually portable storage devices. I still recommend you use a CD because CD is kind of old too. Flash storage is way better. It's more um, durable, durable. All right, using examples from the scenario on page four, identify five components of the information processing cycle. What? What on page four? Using examples from the scenario on page four, identify five components of the information processing cycle. Whoa, let me see. Please prepare an end of quarter sales presentation to explain performance for the period. He must present a spreadsheet that contains all the salesperson's data, including tables, charts, and a PowerPoint presentation. He must give a recording of the previous meeting or discussion in order to save his work. He has given two devices. This question is interesting. For five marks, why? Examples of, from the scenario on page four, identify five components of the information. All right, so let's see what the information processing cycle is. Input, process, output, feedback. So we have input, process, output, storage, and feedback. I'm guessing the only one, yeah, I'm guessing is five marks. So input, process, output, storage, and feedback. Cool. So let's see if we can find anything that has input. Input would be the salesperson's data. All right, so we put out salesperson's data. Input salesperson's data. Cool. Process. What is the process? Process would be... This is a nice question. This is a nice question. Um, spreadsheet that can sales data. Um, tables and charts. Tables and charts will be processing it. So yeah, you could... Uh, which contains salesperson's data, including tables, charts, and corner. You must also work. Yeah. Yeah, so we say making the tables and charts is a process. So making tables and charts from the data all right that was cool because you have to make the tables and charts from the data output now what would the output be tables and charts and a powerpoint presentation well we said the presentation is the output okay after you make all the tables and charts you would output it as a presentation i would want to argue that you may say that the graphs and charts could be an output too so you could say like finish graph, but there's a there's a there's a fight down answer. That'll that'll be a that'll be an answer that the examiners will have to fight to determine if it's acceptable or not. So we'll kind of leave it there. Storage. They said he must also provide a recording for of the previous meeting for discussion. So the recording of the previous meeting will be storage. Recording of meeting. Feedback now is a little difficult to find. Feedback. In order to save his work, he's given two devices shown. Oh, meeting for discussion. So you had to provide the recording for discussion. So discussion, uh, discussion in the meeting of the recording. All right. That's a hard five marks, boy. Because first of all, you need to know the information processing cycle. And then you have to be able to pull that from the, from the paragraph. Well done. Well done, CXC. This one, this is a good question. This is a question I'll separate the sheep from the goat. So that's that's good. We'll take that. Next up, part B. Udai was considering um, using the company's website or device one to share information on shareholders. Outline one advantage and one disadvantage of using the company's website instead of device one. Look at space. How much? Four marks. So that means two, two, two marks for each part. So the advantage of using the website is it is easily accessible to the people once, once they have an internet connection. Um, but look at space to write. Nah, no, boy, I know writing so much for two marks. That's not, that's not right. So chances are it's late in the night and you're watching this past paper video hoping that you get the answers to the past paper that you've been looking for for all this time and you're happy that it actually exists on YouTube. Well, go leave it up to the YouTube algorithm to show you the rest of um, answers. I have an app that's called Learn It by Make It Simple TT and it has all the past paper answers in chronological order for the past 10 years, maybe 12, depending on the time that you're watching this video. It might have a lot more. The app is called Learn It. Go find it, download it, link will be in the description. And if you want to see the PDF with the actual crap of foot handwriting that I have with the answers, so you can actually scroll through the PDF and look at the answers as it was written. Instead of watching the video, hey, you could do that too. Download the app now. All right, back to the answers. Yeah, that was all right. Yeah, um, once they have an internet connection. Yeah, easily accessible once they have an internet connection. 
disadvantage of using a company's website instead of a CD drive would be at, um, they want to share the information to share. What is the disadvantage of using the internet instead of a CD? Is there a disadvantage of using the internet? Okay. If shareholders have no internet connection, they would not be able to view the report. I mean, it's real hard for me in 2023 to write down if somebody doesn't have internet access. Um, that's a real, I, I find that's a real waste of time answer these days, but apparently that is all because device one is clearly a CD-ROM and they're asking it for one disadvantage of using the website instead of device one. The only disadvantage of putting something on the internet is if you can't access the internet. I don't know if it's security, like security might be an answer because if it meant for the shareholders and you put it on the internet, then anybody can get it. All right, maybe let, let's table security at the side. All right, I'll have to talk to somebody that Mark and this year to find out about this question because I can't really, I can't really sell a disadvantage of the it being on the internet. But okay, that's question one. Question one wasn't that bad. I like this question, however, because this question is an application of your understanding of input, process, output, storage, and feedback. That's, that's the kind of questions we, we like to see. Teachers like to see application questions to show your understanding, not questions that tell you the internet is bad. All right, question number two. A drive through has implemented an information system to help manage its data processing and reporting. Receipts are given to customers after each purchase and quarterly reports are used to review sales and customer feedback. A sample receipt is shown below. Okay, thanks for the receipt. Silver's Nicole orders 21 receipt number. They have no receipt number. Why the receipt number under there? Why didn't they put a receipt number? Oh, the receipt number on the right hand side. Kind of weird. So they have receipt number and then the receipt number quite on this side. Hmm, very, very awkward. Very awkward, but that's okay. Large fries, two beef burgers, two large fizzy drinks, number of items, six of total tax, total amount cash given next. Cool. So that's a bill. What do we do with the bill? I invite two examples of data and one example of information in receipt in figure two. Oh, nice. I like these questions. Data would be you could have the number of fries bought. You could have the date, you could have order number, you could have receipt number. Basically, anything that's a number. Okay, dope number of price bought. That's um it have much more low-hanging fruit there. Much more low-hanging fruit. Date, order number, time, time is a piece of data. Mm, yeah. And then you have the higher hanging fruit, which will be number of items. No, number of items is not data, that is information because you have to add. All right, anything you have to do maths on, you'll get, um, um, anything you have to do maths on, you'll, that'll be information. So I get data there. Two examples of data, one example of information. Information would be number of items, number of items, because you have to add to get six. So two plus two plus two gives you six, that's information. Um, stop total. That's information also because you have to take all of these numbers here, add them up to get that number. Um, tax is information also because you have to multiply the tax. Um, total information also. And yeah, subtotal. Total, yeah. All right, anything you have to do maths for? It's, um, that's information. Anything it does have, anything that just stated as data. So we'll just, I'm just gonna drag it across there. Da, 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 da. Yeah. All right, time, date, order number, receipt number, anything that's a number, data, information, All right? Part B, a customer approaches the drive through and selects items from the menu. On approaching the speaker, the cashier prompts the customer to place the order. The customer then proceeds to the drive through window to pay using a debit card and then collects the order, All right? Complete the table below by using examples from the scenario above to match the data with the correct data types. Numeric is, um, Selecting, approaching the drive-thru and selects items from the menu. Uh, selecting items from the menu. The menu. The menu is definitely visual. Oral is the cashier prompting. Because the cashier will ask you what do you want. Customer then proceeds to the drive-thru window to pay using a debit card. Numeric would be the amount that you pay. Payment. It's kind of, kind of, um, kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, this one is weird. So pay is money, so that's numeric, that's a number. 
Oral is Kasha prompts, because the Kasha will ask you, how much do you want? Or what do you want? And the menu is the select items from the menu. The menu is visual, because you have to look at the menu to choose what you want. Nice. The customer will place order 21 only has $40 based on the prices of the items on the receipt. Describe one other combination of the order to me. What, 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 what? Say that one more time. The customer will place, place order 21 only has $40. What is order 21? This is order 21? Yes, order 21. They only have $40. Thanks. Suggests, based on the prices of the items on the receipt, describe one other combination of the order to meet the factor. So we need to look at the bill and mix and match to figure out what it could get for forty dollars. You know, that's like when you walk up to the um to somebody and be like, "Boss, what you could get me for forty dollars, boy?" And the man watch you like, "No, God, please, no, no, no!" Cause you play big and gone in TGI. And with forty dollars, and ask the waiter where you can get for forty dollars, and they'll tell you water, pipe water. All right, so let's mix and match and see what we can get inside here. Forty dollars. You can get two beef burgers and two large fizzy drinks. No, you can't. No, two beef burgers. Twenty-seven fifty plus twelve fifty zero 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 five one one. Zero, two, three, four, forty dollars. All right, two beef burgers and two fizzy drinks. That's a very odd question. Two beef burgers and two large fizzy drinks. All right, this exam is a little weird so far. It is a little weird. Some of the scenarios here, they're a little left field. And the questions they're asking about the scenario, like what part of the syllabus is being tested here? I don't know, I can't, I can't see what part of the syllabus is being tested here. Customer who place order 21 only has four tablets. Why would they want you to find another combination? That unless you're finding data. Oh, okay. I guess. Customer who played order 21 received poor service at the drive-thru. This scenario, I love this scenario that they that they're trying to portray. This, this scenario nice. The question, the question, however, the way that they're asking the question. It's a, it's a difficult scenario to turn into information systems questions, but they try their best. They try their best. I'll give them that. Customer plays order 21 receive poor service. The customer decided to express his or her displeasure. Discuss whether the customer should use a um should use a cross-platform messaging tool or social media tool to post his or her review. Justify your answer. Well, of course you'll use social media. Because one, you'll have a wider reach. Um wider reach. Um that would gather more attention and two you can directly tag the business in the social media posts to get their attention yeah so you put it on social media because you want to load them up and you want to make things you want to like sound bad yeah cross platform messaging tool they're really going to help anything because you'll just send messages into our whatsapp group and they might just ignore you might just ignore you Maybe. Um, anything else I could put there? Why? I don't think anything else. Social media has a wide reach and it can directly tag the business and uh, yeah, yeah, basically what attention if you're trying to do that, right? Identify which type of data, quantitative or qualitative, is most appropriate for each of the following examples. Give a reason for each. Customers have been recommending beef burgers to their friends. That's qualitative. Qualitative. Because it expresses the subjective view of a person yeah part two the end of day sales have shown that 86.5 percent of the customers are requesting beef burgers and large fries quantitative because it is a numerical value that can be measured Ding, 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 ding. Right. All right, so that's module one. Not bad at all. The scenario is a little iffy, but if you knew you, if you understand your work and you understand information processing and whatnot, you could match back everything to the scenario, which is, which is good stuff. These are good questions because these questions will test your actual understanding and application of the knowledge. 